welcome to The Calling Uncensored, a podcast for awakening souls on the courageous path of becoming. I'm your host, spiritual teacher and messenger, Sarah Rose. I am obsessed with shining a light on the often dark and turbulent process of awakening. You are being summoned. Hey, beautiful souls. This episode is part of the Divine Femme series with my partner, Vanessa Doing, where we talk all about how to grow a soul aligned business for massive impact on the front end, but also create your dream lifestyle full of fun freedom, flow, and financial prosperity. So if this resonates with you and you are ready to fully align with your mission and step into divine service and answer that call, this series is for you. We hope you enjoy it. And if this resonates with you and you want to dive deeper with us, please check out the show notes and I hope you enjoy this episode. Namaste. So this topic was just coming up like right, like literally like 10 minutes ago is the title uh, that came to us. And I just wanted to share a little bit about, you know, one of the things that a lot of, you know, spiritual, well, at least business coaches don't talk about, which is often one of the reason a lot of our clients hire us is because they do want someone that is spiritual and a business coach. I've hired mentors before that aren't quote unquote, you know, in the, the spiritual community, and it's quite a different experience, but today this is, it's almost, you know, we're just going to talk about entrepreneurship and growing and scaling a business just in general for a second. A little background about me, if you've been following me for a while, specifically, I've always been a self-starter, right? So I've always been entrepreneur or in sales, or I've created my own uh, gig, right? So I've had multiple businesses one was a beauty brick and mortar business that blew up within the first like very first few months and had over like 500 clients, uh, awesome referrals, five star reviews. Real estate was always um, I was always successful when in my real estate career. And then a virtual assistant company right out the gate, you know, charging top dollar before virtual assistants were a thing. Literally, people were paying to be on my wait list. Um, and. You know, one thing that's really interesting is growing those various businesses, not once. Yeah, you know, real estate can be slow and you can be like, oh, God, where's the next deal coming from? That's every once in a while if you don't have systems in place and stuff like that. So you can have the ebb and flow of a sales career. Like anybody in sales knows that there's an ebb and a flow and things like that. However, nothing has brought me to my knees the way a spiritual business has growing a spiritual business, mm. not the virtual assistant business, not the beauty brick and mortar business, not the, you know, the real estate career and, and um, any of my other, you know, independent on endeavors, like nothing has brought me to my knees multiple times, <laughs> like growing and <laughs> Growing a spiritual business. And I know you spiritual entrepreneurs out there, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying entrepreneurship is not a tough road. It is. I just put a post out on this the other day. Entrepreneurship is not for everybody. It takes a lot of guts. It takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of strength. It takes a lot of resiliency. It takes a lot of consistency. It takes a lot of showing up for yourself. Vision. But vision. Being able to hold the vision, right? Like, yeah. Being able to hold the vision when nothing looks like it's working out. And that goes without saying as far as entrepreneurship goes. But when you add spirituality and going through your own dark nights of the soul and shedding your own shit, your own veils of illusion that are covering everything that uh, you perceive in the world with untruths. Mm -hmm. And those start breaking down and crumbling around you. You know, those tower moments, those dark nights and all of those things. When you layer our spirituality on top of entrepreneurship, you get like whew, a whole new can of worms, you guys. Mm -hmm. And this is just something that I wanted to bring some awareness to because, you know, I go, I've gone through this. I've, I go through this. I am growing through this constantly. It's always an expansion. And the one thing that we always fall back on, at least for me, is faith, unwavering faith and being able to see through uh, the, the illusion of fear. And you, mm. yeah, challenged to do this over and over and over and over and over and over again and surrender over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah. And over again. 
And just when you think you haven't surrendered enough, you're going to be asked to surrender. Or just when you think you've surrendered enough, you're going to be asked to surrender again. And your yeah. spiritual business, I would love to hear in the comments if you if this is you, will bring you to your knees and get you to your core. Your core. Multiple times. Yeah. Multiple, multiple times. times. Core self-expression. Core truth. Core values. Core divinely guided like there's no room for false falsity is that a word <laughs> yes and isn't that isn't that freeing you guys you know I like I love acting I do acting as well and it's we always say like you know the acting career you don't choose it it chooses you same thing with entrepreneurship I have chills right now because I used to get like I I mean we go up and down as entrepreneurs and it's, it's kind of like that ignorance is bliss right you know we we look at these people that and this is not a this is not a judgment thing I have a lot of my family and friends are very they're in the nine to five they're in the very complacent world and sometimes I used to get so envious because they were so um, complacent and just in their routine which and were so blissful and here comes this you know entrepreneurship I'm a dreamer like this this light wakes you up and I have chills right now because it's the most exhilarating but fucking messy and joyful and fall on your knees moments and you realize what a gift it is I believe because you you see for the first time not with your eyes you see with that core with that message you, you, you see it you feel it you drop in and I have just full body chills right now mm -hmm. and Sarah and I love holding space because I think in a world of Instagram, which is a beautiful thing, we can have this amazing facade of like everything's picture perfect. And it's like, just like this brisky, airy, fairy, let's just like go build a business. And it's hard <laughs> as fuck. It is. But it's also so, it's also something that it gives you results. It gives you this inner exploration of your soul, of your journey in ways that like people can't even explain. Mm. And so I love what you said, Sarah, with the courage, right? It takes a strong, courageous person to have that faith. You know in your heart you're an entrepreneur. You know in your heart you have a massive mission, like the people we work with, to, to uh, put into this world. And even when there's not an ounce of mm -hmm. any kind of example, except for even if it's just like right now an idea for you, you know it, you feel it, it came to you. That is something that's a seed. So even when there's not an ounce of anything happening, or maybe there's a couple little droplets. Can you hold that faith? Can you be so courageous and know the laws you're working with? Know who you really are, right? Know the spirit that you are. Everything's spiritual. Everything's like we, we are human beings, but we are spiritual beings having a human experience. So can you be so courageous to hold that faith? Even when your family, even when your hubby is like, okay, where's this business? Where is it happening? And you just smile because you tap into that knowing. Yeah, it's here. It's here. You know it. You know it. You know it. You actualize it. You realize it, which makes it come about into this physical form. But you, gorgeous leaders, you get to know it. You get to walk in that faith, that unwavering faith. And that Sarah and I talk about this all the time. I love, love, love this unwavering faith that we work with, that we teach that we embody and oh have we been tested but we still do it time and time again through and again mm -hmm. mm. so good and you mentioned something really important when you know the spiritual laws that you're working with and you can be you can embody them we're just sharing what your soul already knows to be true when we say teach right this is something that only you can tap into in your core like we can help guide and shine a light on that path for you. But when you're able to work with these higher truths and, and fully, fully embody them in a way where none of it, nobody has to see it but you. And in actuality, you will be challenged over and over and over again to hold that vision with faith, despite the fear, doubt, lack of certainty, no certainty of outcome over and over and over again. Your faith will be tested you will be asked to leap without seeing where the net is going to catch you. You will ask to dive into fear. You will ask, you will be, you will embrace failure. You will do all of these things with this unknowingness that pulls you through. I mean, this, um, not knowing, not unknowing this, this, um, this knowingness that pulls you through. 
this mm -hmm. pure core essence that is you. This is not something that can be taught. This is only something that can be embodied. And it's if you're listening to us and you resonate with our teachings, because we, we see you and we hear you and we see all your lovely comments right now as well. We get all of your feet, you know, you reach out to us and mm -hmm. this is in you for a reason. This calling is in you for a reason. And I swear to God, I just want to share with you over and over again that oftentimes, you know, this level of faith is going to be, it's almost like a rite of passage for a successful spiritual entrepreneur. It's a rite of passage. And again, I can compare it to so many other businesses and come back here and at, with over 20 years of entrepreneurship and business building behind me, I can say nothing compares to what you are attempting to do right now, merging your sole purpose, your part of your mission for being here, your spirituality, your own soul ascension into mm. truth and oneness mixed with the ebbs and flows of entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. And, you know, nothing compares to this experience that you're going through. And it takes a brave, courageous soul to be able to continue to stay steadfast on the path and hold the vision. And you'll be challenged over and over again. So like Vanessa said, earlier these moments she appreciates them right because it's only in those moments you will learn your core resiliency of who the fuck you truly are at your core mm -hmm. you will learn that through these moments you will learn that through these moments of faith testing moments mm -hmm. of how strong and powerful you are and not because you're carrying the weight of this world on your shoulders and you have to do it yourself. It's because you're going to be forced over and over again, whether you like it or not to tap into something so much deeper than who you think you are, mm. your personality, your ego, whatever it is, your mind, your mindset, you can't, this is not mindsetting your way there. You'll be forced to your knees for a reason. And it's to tap into that part of you that knows the part of you that is so much bigger than this human body suit you're wearing right now. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, Sarah here. Sorry for the interruption, but I just wanted to pop in here with a quick announcement. Divine Femme Immersions are here. That's right, Vanessa and I are co-hosting live luxury immersions to help you fully embody and lead with your divine feminine essence, plus create soul business shifts for epic expansion and your most prosperous year yet. I know if you're resonating with this, something has clicked for you energetically where your faith plus your desire to expand into more have now merged and now it's time to trust that, honor that, and allow it to lead you to birth your most divine creations into the world. It's time to become unapologetically magnetic for all the things, the clients, the money, the sales, the success, the luxury in all forms, and open fully to receive it. No more FOMO or sitting on the sidelines. If you're ready for massive energetic shifts and you want to join Vanessa and I live at an upcoming Divine Femme Luxury Immersion, don't forget to check out the link in the show notes after this episode. Namaste. Again, we're talking to the specific, you know, entrepreneurship. Again, it's, it's not for everyone. And if you are even, if you resonate, if you got called to be here, if you're new to it, welcome, welcome, welcome to Sarah and I, to our space and us just holding space for you in this moment. If you've been doing it for a while and you've like thought about giving up, you're called here for a reason as well. Like there's, it's, it's like, there's no explanation of, you know, it's kind of like love. You don't like you, it's, it comes to you. Cause like, like Sarah and I talk about it, I believe too, like it wants to be expressed through you. You know, whatever your spiritual business is, whatever your mission is, whatever is just in the core of your heart, like, oh, feel that for a second. Say hi to it. Love it. Like I'm like touching my soul because it's so special. It's so intimate. It's so, it's, it's just, it's beautiful. And it, it was, it's got, it's wanting to be expressed through you for a reason. And we say, like, we say that a lot, a lot of people say that, but like tapping into like, own that, like own how powerful you are, like own how magical, how fun, how beautiful that is. Mm -hmm. And you don't even have to explain any of it. 
half the people might not even get it, but you do. And that intimate connection between this beautiful creation, this feminine part of your soul that wants to create with and through you to be expressed in this world and, you know, move people in the way it knows how to move. Like we don't have to worry about the how or how it's all going to play out, but you just got to know it came to you, own that, acknowledge that. And every time, like Sarah was saying, like you get challenged or you fall, you get yourself back up because you can. You've done it once before. You can do it again. It's about that journey. Every time you get knocked down, you pop up stronger and more resilient. And that's just truth. Mm -hmm. And I just, I really, 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 I want to like for one second, this is so freaking fun. You guys go back to the vision part. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's such a key thing. And the thing that I'll be straight up, like I'm always transparent. I'm always honest. The thing that I is so frustrating for me, like as a a mentor or coach or a guider is like, it's not something I can just go in and switch on for you. Like you have to do it and I can, I can help you and guide you, which we do. But like, also I'm so happy because like Sarah said, you don't need anyone. You have that power in you, which is why we're here to remind you of that. Mm -hmm. But you like, you can do it. And then you have this moment where you think, oh, that you get so broken. You don't think you can do anything ever again. And you pick yourself back up and you can. And that moment, it's like tingles all over your body. You're like, holy crap. Mm -hmm. I'm powerful. I'm incredible. Mm -hmm. I don't know where I was going with that, but I just like this whole Mm -hmm. idea of just like the resiliency Mm -hmm. and the vision. Um, Oh, yeah. Yeah. Real quickly. This is so fun. And I want to hear my girl, Sarah. Um, This whole idea of vision, you guys. This is the biggest test. And the people that are out there that are in your world, your eyes significant or um, successful, whether or not they know that they're working with these laws, right? These universal spiritual laws, like just the laws of the universe. This is what I want so much. If you take anything away today, practice proclaiming, knowing, remembering that you have the power to hold that vision, even when there's no sign, maybe even laugh about it. Call a spade a spade. Cool. (laughs) No one's come through my business. Cool. That's not the truth. I'm holding the truth right here. Like I'm creating the truth. Like I'm holding this vision. And that's the magic. Think about when we were kids. Like where does our imagination go when we grow up and become adults? Like we like lose it. It's like a brain fart or something. But like when you're a kid, you're imagining all this stuff and you're having this little, you know, playground in your in your mind I want us to go back to that like play with your mind play with that that vision tap into it because the truth is like it's all happening now we've said this before but like whether you are remembering an event in the past or visualizing an event in the future your brain like what's happening scientifically I love science doesn't know the difference it's happening to you now so so many of us are so easily swayed to like what our best friend says about our business or our husband says, fuck all that. You're stronger than that. You're an entrepreneur. You're a spiritual entrepreneur. You are powerful AF. You know this. Tap back Mm -hmm. into that. Give them Mm -hmm. love. Don't judge anyone. They only know what they know, right? But Mm -hmm. take your power back. Gorgeous leader, gorgeous queen with a dream. Take your power back. And what would it be like if even today, even for a minute, instead of fearing and asking, where is everything? Where is it? Where's my clients? Where's all this? You tapped in to the vision, like, and gave thanks. Like, hey, thanks, it's here. Even if there's no sign of it, how strong are you? How courageous are you to tap in? How crazy. In? How crazy. <laughs> how, how, how crazy. Like, how how crazy, crazy are you? Is. Guys, pray. Pray, pray, pray. You got to be crazy. You got to be crazy. crazy. Embrace the insanity, yeah. you guys. Embrace the craziness. You're going to be, you're being asked to see beyond the senses over and over and over again. And it takes a level of crazy insanity for you to be able to do that. Other people are going to be looking at you like, where is it? Mm-hmm. You have to be able to hold steadfast in that faith, no matter yes. what. And it's going to seem crazy even to you sometimes, you know, and like yes. Vanessa alluded to before, you know, I, I put this in a post the other day. Sometimes you look at other people and you're like, why can't I just go, why can't I just go get a job like Karen and live happily ever yeah. after? <laughs> <laughs> because you're crazy, yeah. because you're crazy as fuck and you're not here to live that mm-hmm. life. And you know it in your core, you know it in your soul. Can you have faith and trust in that despite anything in your reality that's telling you otherwise? Can you have the balls to reject and deflect anything that tells you other in your reality anything that tells you it is not already true Mm -mm 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 -mm. and when you can do that in the present moment even with everything Mm -hmm. around you reflecting to you 
nothing, the opposite of anything happening or just little inklings here and there. When you can do that in the present moment and hold that unwavering faith and trust and knowingness within yourself, despite whatever's happening in the world around you, your environment, your family, your friends, all the things that are pointing to you, your own mind being your own worst mm -hmm. enemy, you thinking mm -hmm. yourself, well, fuck, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe this isn't going to work, you know, have it bringing you down to your knees again for another come to Jesus moment where you can tap into who the fuck you really, really are. When you can have that and be and be okay in that process and still know that beyond a shadow of a doubt, you're, there's no other option for you and you're going to, and that's just it. It's done. It's a decision that was made and you are moving with faith regardless. You're stepping with faith instead of fear. This is when faith moves mountains for you. Moves mountains. What mountains are moving? This is when faith moves mountains for you. For faith you. Faith moves mountains for you for you holy crap i am so lit right now <laughs> this is just That's, juice i swear guys cheers this is this is kombucha not the hard kombucha just regular kombucha aha uh -huh, girl so i know how you roll girl that 21 year and older you get, you get, you get carded now with kombucha um oh my yeah. god this was so good you guys That's funny. take this home we always want to know what lands we are so pumped if any of this resonates and you're ready to dive in not one day from now, today, go to either one of our links in our bios, and I want you to watch the free masterclass, the ABCs, to five-figure months, and really catapulting your mission, your vision. Queen. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are queen. Yes. I'm so excited to be on this journey with you. Yes. Absolutely. Cheers, you guys. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, you guys. We will see you again next week on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Reach out to us if you have any questions. The Masterclass, if that resonates with you, there's an option right below that for a free impact assessment with our team. The impact assessment is going to help you close the gaps because as much as we're going to talk energetics and help hold space for you, we also have all the strategies and all the multiple coaches, not just Vanessa and I inside Sacred Reader Academy to help you move your mission forward and grow and scale your thriving spiritual business in a way that bridges not only mm -hmm. the energetics, but also smart business strategy. You guys, mm. smart business strategy has to, you know, be in the mix there too, right? So yes. Today. Check out the, yeah, today, check out the masterclass today. and keep an eye out because Vanessa and I are going to be announcing something really special really soon. So if you're on our email list, keep an eye out for that. Um, and we will see you next week. Mm, love you guys. Bye, girl. Cheers. Bye. Hi, you guys. If you got value from this episode, please subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And I'd love it if you leave me a review on iTunes. For more info beyond this podcast, or if you have a question you'd like answered in an upcoming episode, please visit thecallinguncensored.com. And for daily inspiration or to shoot me a DM, come hang with me on Instagram at spiritualceo. Namaste.